All right, you know that young gentleman right there. That is Jaden Smith, the son of Will Smith. And um, Jaden Smith is a young man. Um, recently, I guess, came out of closet, said he was partners with Tyler, um, the creator, uh, hip-hop uh, artist. Tyler is, Tyler is an amazing hip-hop artist. I like his music, uh, Tyler, the creator. Um, dude is funny, man. You got to see that video of him. And <laughs> Go and look at that video of... <laughs> Tyler and um, Funk Master Flex, man. <laughs> that was hilarious, man. But uh, Jaden has grown up to be a proficient businessman. He has a few charities. I mean, he has his own money. That's one thing I can say about Will and Jada. He te they teach their family about um, building their own, not living off mom and daddy, and doing your own thing and in your own career. And Jaden himself is a, a very proficient rapper, uh, as well as his sister is a very proficient performer. And um, uh, I think it's time. I mean, it's time for them to start stepping up and doing their thing. So here's um, Jaden and uh, Common has joined partnership with voting rights organizations to begin to get out the vote. Now, I got a problem with that. Major, major problem with that. Celebrities trying to get people to vote. Now, I went over this before. <laughs> Celebrities should not. <sighs> if you are getting out to vote because, you know, hey, man, I'm going to get out to vote, man, because uh, Ludacris said to vote for Joe Biden. I'm going to vote for Joe Biden because Ludacris said so. Bro, you ludicrous. Uh, I'm going to get out the vote because Jaden Smith is getting out the vote. Jay-Z, you remember what the last time Jay-Z tried that? Jay-Z and Hillary Clinton had that concert right before the election and her butt still lost. <laughs> she came there and her butt still lost. Folks, celebrities are not your ticket. Celebrities are not the way to go. If you're put, if you're, if you're following a celebrity in anything, what is freaking wrong with you? They're no different from you, no more special than you. They probably got a given talent and they used it and they got discovered and now they're famous and they're rich. You probably got a gift of talent just as good as them. You just didn't get discovered. That's it. They poop like you. They pee like you. They fix the same sound. They, uh, if, they ain't getting, if they're not paying somebody to fix their sandwiches, they'll fix their sandwiches just like you fix their sandwich, your sandwiches. They're nothing special. Now, people, Jay Smith and Common are partnering with one of the largest voting register organizations to boost turnout. It's from a BuzzFeed new a nonprofit that targeted unlikely voters will launch a major push next week to register and help new voters navigate a general election made trickier by a pandemic. The group vote.org has enlisted Common and Jaden Smith, two actors and rappers known for their political activism and companies such as Twitter to signal boost their message beginning Tuesday, July 28th with the first and several vote ready days of action. All right. So they got their campaign called vote ready. Are you guys ready to vote? The partners and others will use their social media presence and digital platforms to promote the campaign. Officials with Vote.org told BuzzFeed News Tuesday's kickoff will focus to uh, focus on nearly 600 companies that had pledged to allow employees paid time off to vote this fall. Now, look, I am a proponent to two things. Two things need to be put in the law. And since Trump is president, he should do it. Because it's a progressive thing to do that the Democrats ain't got the balls to do. And most of the Republicans ain't got the balls to do. The only person that had the balls to do it was Bernie. But you know how that that became a disappointment. You should have a paid holiday to go vote. You shouldn't have to get up early in the morning, try to get the vote. You're waiting that online. End up almost getting to work late to get another write up. And that's the last write up. They're going to file you behind all because you were trying to vote. Or you shouldn't be have to get off of work trying to rush to go vote because the voting place closes at six. You get off at five. It take you two hours to get home. All that crap. 
No, it should be a paid holiday. Businesses should be closed so everybody can have a reason to go out and vote. You're talking about boosting turnout. I have no problem with voting on voting day. It should be mandatory day off on election day. It should be paid. Second thing. And third, you should be able to register on the day of voting. Because I may not like your candidate and may not decide to vote for him till the last freaking minute. And because y'all want to lean on or you party leaders want to end the voting date, the date to register to vote is to your benefit. Because now I don't like you. I want to register to vote for the person. But I may have been in your party and I can't vote for the other. Well, I can vote for the other person. Um, But. I, I may not be a registered voter, so I want to be able to register on the day. So three things I am for same day registration, voting being a national holiday, and I want it to be paid. Now, let's get back to the story. <laughs> a program scheduled for August 25th will be aimed at schools, signing up young voters and helping them request mail in ballots. Now, why? Why? Why is this campaign with an older rapper, almost 50 years old, my age, and, old, and a, a young rapper probably in his early 20s, why are they teaming up to go to the schools to sign up young voters to vote to help them request mail-in ballots? You got to look at this thing. Is this a Democratic plot? Um, um, is this organization pushing for Democrats or Republicans? Is it nonpartisan? Because the key point is signing up young voters. And right now, the Republican Party are suffering young voters and the Democratic Party is suffering in young voters. But they know that they could have got the young vote if they would have made Bernie Sanders the VP. But since they didn't make Bernie Sanders the VP, they're going to have to work hard to get that vote. You do realize the uh, Republican Party is really not stressed out on getting young people to go out and get the vote, but Charlie Kirk and them, they definitely going out there registering those conservatives. Efforts to limit the spread of COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel, I'm tired of that name, novel. It ain't no book. Have created more opportunities for and confusion about voting by mail or in other socially distant ways. Primary elections in many states this year were postponed to convert to largely mail-in formats. Many states and election officials from both major political parties have recognized the benefit of voting before election day. But President Donald Trump, here they are, they had to mention Trump. Whenever I hear them mention Trump, I assume, I'm assuming that this article is dim leaning. And whenever an article talks about Joe Biden, I'm assuming the article is right leaning or Republican leaning. It automatically discount me and make me think this article is going to be a biased article and it has a purpose to it. Donald Trump continued to raise unfounded suspicions about the integrity of voting by mail, even though he cast his primary ballot by mail in March. Why did he have to mention Trump? Vote Ready was created to ensure voters are prepared to vote safely in November, whether they choose to vote by mail, vote early, or vote on Election Day. Andrea Haley, Vote.org Chief Executive Officer, said in a statement to BuzzFeed News, announcing the group's push, most states weren't prepared for the ravages of COVID-19, forcing states to reschedule election, scramble to shift safe social distancing tactic like vote by mail and rewrite election laws, rewrite election laws, rewrite election laws to respond to the public health emergency. Now, how many of you people, did you know they rewrote the election laws to respond to the public health emergency? I didn't. If you know those laws, put them in the comment section so I can go so I can investigate. Voters should have every possible option to participate and to do so safely. And we want all voters to make a plan to get vote ready now. The reason they're pushing this, they because they know the more people get out to vote, the Democrats usually win. And they're going to try to get the vote out. And they're basically going to use celebrities, hip hop celebrities, mainly to get people to vote for the Democrats. And I get it. Smart, biased, but smart. Will it work? I don't know. 
Smith is partnering with Vote.org through his 501c3 nonprofit, which has provided portable water filtration systems in Flint, Michigan. Good on him. He and Common will serve as influencers. So his job is to influence y'all to go vote. Now, not just to go vote. I guarantee you their job is to influence you to vote a certain way. Because it's never been just go vote. Stacey Abram got this thing called go vote, whatever, right to vote, whatever. But the whole point is Stacey Abram is a staunch Democrat that's supporting Joe Biden. And I guarantee that vote organization, which is funded by money from um, people like um, Bloomberg, is a push to get people to join the Democratic Party and vote Democrat. And I, I get it. But don't make don't act like you a strictly get out the vote. No, you're strictly to get out the vote for a certain person organization. The companies involved in next week's push are committed to giving their employees pay time off and are in some cases donating sp space promoted promoted uh, space promoting the campaign on their website. So, so I'm a company. I got a bunch of Democrats in my pocket. I want to say a bunch of Republicans, but this doesn't sound like a Republican leaning thing right here. This sounds like a strictly proficient Democratic strategy. I'm a major company. By the way, fascism is when the corporations begin to lead this country, not politicians. But we'll get back to that. I'm a corporation. I got a bunch of these. Uh, I got a bunch of politicians in my pocket. I want to make sure that they stay in office to boost on my behalf. So let me do something on my end with my workers to make sure they can get out the vote. So my workers, I am going to pay you. I'm going to give you PTO to go vote. Now, let me stop here for a second. It's important to vote. And this is so important to vote. But more important is, it's important for you to have a real reason to get out and vote. Honestly speaking, if they're not giving you a reason to vote for them, why are you voting for them? Ah, because they're a Democrat. And I've been a Democratic all my life. Yeah, I've been a Baptist all my life, but I don't go to a Baptist church no more. It don't feed me. Nothing wrong with that. If you like that, that's fine. But it don't feed me personally. I'm a teaching ministry guy. I like, I like ministries that teach you how to live uh, life for the better. Not preach me uh, about the cross every weekend. I don't need that. I know that. So these companies are going to allow probably going to put it in the contract or in their company policy that we're going to give you paid time off to go vote because we want you to vote and nine times 10 they're going to be leaning on where they're going to vote they're going to put and promote paid voting day off on their website group nine media which owns now this news thrillers and other sites will run banner ads tuesday group nine media and now this news and thrillers are democratic leaning news agencies wiki how will offer a custom landing page featuring how-to articles written by vote.org staff mailchimp and the email marketing company will transfer his log in page to promote election day as a national holiday i am for that but if you're getting specific on where they're going to go vote that's not right Vote.org officially said they already have helped more than 1 million voters register. And more than 1 million voters request mail-in ballots this year. So I guess they're doing their job. Now they do have a correction. Twitter is participating in the new voter voter voter.org drive. A previous version of the story misstated the companies involved. Bad enough you got these several celebrities out here. Bad enough you think we're so dumb, that we're so giddy, that we're so star truck that you just lead us into a fire and we're coming in there with you. You think we're that dumb. Especially black people. You can clearly see this is a democratic strategy. And it's a good one. And if you're not 
if you're not well educated, if you're not smart, you can follow right into this. And Republicans did probably could do the same type of strategy uh, with Turning Point. Getting out these Republican celebrities to get out to vote for Donald Trump. Don't you cannot call yourself a voting rights organization or a get out the vote organization um, if you're going to be biased. Stay in the Democratic Party and say we're part of the Democratic Party and we're our assignment is to get out the vote. Or we're public the Republican Party and our major purpose in this voting. Uh, in the party is to get out the vote. I'm, 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 I'm Janet Jackson, and you know, and I'm going to help Joe Biden run for office. I'm going to participate in this get out the vote campaign to help Joe Biden, or vice versa. You know, I'm Kanye West, and I, I support Trump, and um, and and I'm going to help him get out the vote. Do one of those two things, but don't act like you're a vote voter right organization, and you're going to lean toward a particular person. That's foul. You can't be biased doing that. And shame on you to think that we're that dumb that you could just tout out some celebrities and they're going to put the woo on us and we're just going to say, Ooh, oh, he's voting for him. I'm going to vote for him too. How dumb. How dumb do you think we are, man. These politicians disgust me. These organizations, these voting, get out the vote drive organization. P. Diddy, Diddy had his crap. All that stuff disgusts me, man. I mean, people, come on, man. You you, you got to be a little bit better than that. Now, obviously, you guys not dumb enough to fall for that crap. But come on, America.